in uh, this video I will um, give you a um, short overview over the different account types that we operate from at the university. So first of all we have the shared account so they are you you receive your username and password from your course teacher and um, these are accounts we typically use for short courses um, so if you are on a day or two or semester no, or a workshop for a week you will probably be using one of these accounts what's important to note about these accounts is that um, all data will be deleted each semester that um, and that you will um, be sharing the account values or might be um, it throughout that semester so um, you um, and they might by accident delete your data so if you're going to use it within the semester you um, you try and keep your data organized I'll cover that in a moment about how to organize your data but basically if you need to use data for anything a bit more serious you should um, you should contact me some admin at, at my rook email and um, and I will then give you a student account instead of a shared account. So student accounts are typically for um, for students on larger courses or students doing semester work. So um, they are personal. They will um, no one else can by accident delete your data or only me at least. Um, so. Um, in that way that your, your data is um, a bit more safe the accounts will typically work together with all the data be deleted at the end of each semester um, or at least after the exams um, but you can um, request for your account to be uh, continued if you want to do a, a semester project where you'll be using ArcGIS online then um, you will have your account con um, extended you can um, with these data accounts you can also share um, your maps or your data outside the organization and um, but you let you'll have to um, ask for that so you'll just um, again contact me and say which data set you want to have shared uh, publicly and um, and then that can be done um, so you can make public maps that they don't conceive but you just have to ask for it staff accounts of course they um, are, um, are typically you know they they, they they hang along as long as people use them so typically if you haven't used it for a year then you'll uh, be given a notice saying ah, I mean, we need all the accounts we have we, we haven't so many accounts so we have to keep a bit tight on them so you'll be given a warning and ask are you using it or not um, and of course, they can share um, with everyone um, also publicly. So they are the basic different accounts. For all accounts, it's really useful if you try and organize your data a bit. So, and the easiest way of doing that is that you, if you in your content tab, so on the content tabs, you can create folders. So if you are um, doing a short course, you can call it Espen's data, and then people, of course, can see that okay, that's not Peter's data, so Peter shouldn't delete anything in Espen's data. Um, if you are working on a semester project, um, call it uh, semester project horses or whatever. Um, and uh, then create a folder and then make you can share the content within this folder with a group of other people so folders are a good way of keeping your data organized otherwise they will all appear under my content they, and you know they, this this is um, can greatly get a bit of out of hand so create folders store your data in folders that is a, um, a good way of starting your with your keeping your data organized. 